Thank you for creating time to be here. Today we are going to look at how to run autoresponder campaign using Mailwiz. Mailwiz is a cold email marketing platform and it's one of the most robust that I've seen when it comes to cold email. It's quite friendly and it's easy to use. So we're going to check out how do you run autoresponder campaign. We have two types of campaigns that you can run using call, using Mailwiz. And uh, we have regular campaigns, as you can see here. Once you log in, this is the dashboard. This is what you get to see. So when you come here, you have uh, regular campaigns and we have autoresponders. For this specific one, we're going to talk about um, autoresponders. For regular campaigns, it's quite simple, straightforward. This is when you want to run your campaign. Uh, one of campaign for instance you just come here you just say create new campaign you give uh, the campaign a name you pick your list the one that you're sending to you don't do much about here you save and next and then uh, you give uh, you define these parameters always don't forget that I always recommend you use uh, random content create variations using using a spin tax element for instance one person receive how about this is it what you wanted ready for this and you can see my score and this is one of the plugin that i have here if i do installation for mailways for you i'll be able to add this plugin it doesn't come with mailways this an add-on and then you can um, save it next so and in the next stage, you're going to be given a chance whereby you are able to add your uh, template. So you can create, for instance, if this is our template. I just want to pick that as the template that way. And then um, save and next. This is for a regular campaign. A regular campaign only gives you a chance to send either schedule later or send now and choose a time that you can send and then you hit uh, save changes and schedule campaign it will start running immediately that is for regular campaign how do you go about autoresponder for autoresponder you come here click on autoresponder you say create new you give it a name as well let me call it um, r45 for instance you choose your list. This is the list that you want to send uh, the email to. That. And then uh, you save and next. Again, you're also given an option of where you are able to add your subjects as well. You choose your subjects, the way you prefer it. And then um, uh, save and next. Let me pick this as a subject line. And then save and next again here you choose the message you're sending you can type it here or you can select your message from here so let me pick your message here and then save and next all right so this is now the real autoresponder elements the first thing that we have here is when you want to send this this is the time or the window that you want to send your campaign at what time probably you want your campaign to run between 8 a.m and um, and um, say for instance 8 a.m and to start running from 8 8 a.m to a specific uh, period of time sorry and then so you can choose uh, let me choose 8 from 8 a.m and the campaign to run for how many hours for instance if you're working with a day maybe you want the campaign to run for eight hours the next item that you're going to define here is when to run the campaign and you have several options uh, when it comes to when to this autoresponder will be triggered the first one is after you subscribe what does that mean what that means is remember we have a list here so let me open a new tab so that we see the list. This is the list I'm working with here. So what does it mean when you say after you subscribe? What that means is when 
people subscribe to this list or when you import contact to this list so for instance um, just a moment let me go back here if you import people to this list it will trigger this autoresponder and the campaign will run immediately and campaign can run immediately or you can decide as the other element of when uh, uh, the autoresponder you can choose after how long will the campaign be triggered is it after a day is it after an hour or a month so here the sequence you have added people to your list and then you're telling the system run this autoresponder after person gets subscribed to that list and then the next sequence you are determining is when will this campaign be triggered once a person is added to that list will it be after one day after one hour or even immediately if you leave it as zero you're saying that uh, this will be triggered immediately after this event the second event that you can define is um, after a profile update this can hardly happen for instance this is when you have changed an email address of a person in a list in your list probably you've changed the email address you can tell the system if a person changes their profile and um, they have changed they have changed the email address that's when they will be triggered the other scenario is when a person opens for instance the system has the capacity to be able to know an email has been opened if an email has been opened you can tell the system do a follow-up email uh, with this uh, with this other email for instance when you say after an email has been opened but then again when you say after an email has been opened you have to define from which campaign had you sent from which let me put it this way you sent an email and it has been opened you tell the system if an email has been opened in the people in that specific list then send this kind of uh, this kind of email after and then you define the parameters here how many days maybe after an hour maybe or a day and then um, there's also an element of include imported subscribers this this means that when you have a list and people are not opting in via i'm not opting in via a website for instance and you have imported you have imported extra extra contacts in this list you're defining on whether once you add will they receive an email from this campaign or not so here you say yes or no also here you define whether to include the current uh, subscribers what that means is who will receive uh, this autoresponder campaign is it the people who are in the existing campaign or not or is it now the people that you have imported so you define these two parameters and then you choose you choose when um, I mean sorry you choose send only after this time maybe a specific uh, period of time and um, that that's how this feature works the other feature when it comes to autoresponder is sent this one you define it from a perspective of send this campaign after another one has been sent assuming you had run another campaign and then you are saying only send this campaign after a previous campaign has been sent so this is when the autoresponder will be triggered after campaign a has been sent and then you tell the system send this campaign after this period of time so this is when you put uh, after campaign has been sent so basically those are the main components when it comes to autoresponder and mailers but i want to say one more thing there's a feature they introduced called inbox monitors here 
So how inbox monitor works is um, let me create new. This is where you define a scenario whereby the system is able to read the mailbox that you're going to put here. And if it receives an email that has a certain text, an email, for instance, that contains, um, for instance, you receive an email that says stop. If a person, instead of unsub clicking the unsubscribe button, and a person sends an email and they say stop, then the system has the capacity to remove that person. And then also, you can also say when a person says uh, stop, they can be unconfirmed or they can be moved to a list or they can be copied to another list. And all of this, you can define these uh, parameters as well. Another scenario is um, maybe you had asked a question, something like, could you be interested with this? Then you say yes. So what happens when a person replies with a yes? Uh, what you can do here, you can move it to another list. You move it to another list. And then when you move them to another list, probably you have created another autoresponder whereby you say it. When a person is added to that list, now send this message. So it becomes a sequence of events. And then you can even create uh, more and more autoresponder de defining uh, the parameters depending on the kind of campaign that you're running. Here you put in uh, the credentials of uh, the IMAP credentials such that now the system is able to interrogate to interrogate the mailbox um, which it will be reading from to get the reply that has been sent so that it triggers another reaction. So basically those are some of the components when it comes to MailWiz and um, running an auto auto responder in case you need help uh, we are always here to help you and in case you need um, uh, to set up to have mail we set up for you you can always talk to us and um, if you're asking yourself i know how to do it myself which is the best vps that i can use to set up mail i usually recommend uh, get this one it is the best that you're going to get in the market for email belts Get yourself a VPS from here and also they have very cool features as well. They are also running campaign on your behalf. All of this, you can get all of this at uh, quite a substantially low rate and you can get the setup done for you absolutely for free if you buy a VPS for 12 months. So that's all I have for you in case you have any query in regards to Melwis. Don't forget to reach out and share this uh, video widely and uh, see you on the next one. Don't forget to subscribe.